When you're thinking about drawing something, sometimes we get overwhelmed with how complex something is. Here are some examples of some art that another art teacher made that just using squares, triangles, and circles and changing them, you can draw these animals. And when you use each shape, they turn into something new. You can do the same thing by taking a picture that intimidates you and breaking it up into shapes like this bear. It's been broken up into rectangles, ovals, circles, and triangles. Just finding each part and what shape does it mean. Same with this horse. Triangles, circles, squares, or this bird broken apart on the branch into different shapes. So let's try this out with this picture of a cat. I'm going to just draw on the picture with a marker finding the basic shapes that point out and define the cat. C circles, ovals, rectangles, and these are the basic shapes. Now I'm going to sketch, now that I know these shapes, I'm going to sketch them out on my paper as the basic shapes like a simple shape drawing. I'm not trying to make a cat right now. I'm just trying to make the shapes of a cat. And once I've drawn the basic shapes, I can go in and start adding the details to make it look more like a cat. I can erase the shape lines that overlap, add the textures, the darks and the lights, the fur, and the parts that make it look more like a cat. But I started this cat drawing by just drawing shapes. And this drawing looks more like a cat, whereas a drawing of a cat that we all think about drawing in our random time is a cat, but it's not really a cat. It's just circles with pointy ears and eyes. Okay, so let's try this again. I've got this elephant and I want to draw it, but I don't want to ruin the picture. So you could find some news print paper to put on top and draw it over and trace it. Or you could take it to the window or a light board to trace and find the shape. So I found the shapes of this elephant and now on my good art paper I'm going to redraw the shapes very lightly. Trying to make them in the same spots but what I'm not doing is I'm not just copying the original picture of an elephant. I'm redrawing the shapes. And now I'm going back and erasing the overlapping lines of the shapes and it leaves the basic big shape of the elephant. Then I can go back and add in the details to make it more like an elephant. This is the part where your artwork comes to life, but drawing the shapes is the first step, or at least thinking through the shapes is the first step in creating an artwork that looks real and is exciting to look at. You don't have to use this method with just animals. It works for all things like this hand. Just drew with a hand that I saw with the ovals, erased the mixed parts, and drew in the rest of the details, adding in the wrinkles and so on to create a realistic looking hand. You can use this shape division technique for all kinds of things. Houses, food, logos, sports teams, animals, or anything that you want to draw. Think of a picture, find a picture, break it up into shapes. Don't draw on the picture if it's not yours. But then break it up into shapes and draw it on your own art paper. Just like this image of a house has been broken up into cubes and spheres, and then turned into a farm. Today, I want for you to either draw the owl or the lizard, break it up into shapes, and then after you've done this, then you can begin your art.